It's pretty scary how many ways there are for people to steal your identity. You need to make sure you're extra careful when you handle your personal information. No one is safe. Turns out our personal information is actually pretty easy to access. One of the most common ways for someone to steal a person's identity would be stealing their credit or debit cards. However, there are also some pretty shocking ways and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hello YouTube, I'm Court McGinley and thanks for joining me today on the most amazing top 5. Sit back, subscribe and let me entertain you. Before we get started on this list, I want to know, what's the sneakiest thing you've ever done? Let me know your answer down in the comments. Alright, let's get started on this list of the top 5 shocking ways someone can steal your identity. Coming in our number 5 spot, stealing health insurance. Now, that's just rude. In a world of insanely high medical costs, medical insurance is basically like gold. And it's extremely important. I'm from Canada, so here we get free healthcare, but anytime I go to America, I always get traveler's insurance because if I break a bone, I'm not paying thousands of dollars. So basically an identity thief obtains medical services using your benefits and then you get to pay the bill. And unfortunately if this happens then it takes a lot of time and money to straighten things out. The really unfortunate part is you might not even realize there's an issue until you get an explanation of benefit statement for your services that you didn't even receive. And you're just all like, what? Number 4. Social media takeover. Now people trying to impersonate another person happens on the daily, but identity thieves go above and beyond. The most common tactic is called social engineering, and basically what it is is the art of manipulating people into giving up confidential information. For example, if a criminal hacks your email, then they now have access to your contact list. And because most people use one password for everything, then they can now access your social media accounts as well. So now they are able to send out emails or write on friends pages as you. And they will send emails including a link that they think would spark your friends curiosity so that they will click on it. Once it's clicked on, their computer can be infected with malware. So the thief can overtake your friends system and collect all of their personal info. So if you ever get a mystery link from a friend, before you click on it, check with them first. In at number 3, taxing. So so if you have a job, then you know that you need to have your taxes filed by April 15th. But the IRS isn't going to check your return against your employer until sometime in July. So that gives identity thieves a nice little window. If an identity thief can get a hold of your social insurance number and your full name, then they can file a fake tax return and collect your refund. And the crazy part is you aren't even going to find this out until you go to get your return and you get rejected. Coming our number 2 spot, you've got mail. This one is bizarre and some people go not only as far to rummage through your mail, but they will also actually take the initiative to change your mailing address so they have access to all of your mail. It's actually super easy to change someone's mailing address if you have someone's personal information. You just go online and after a few clicks it can be done. The mail will be sent to the current address to confirm the change, but a thief can easily just go up and grab it out of your mailbox while you're at work. So you won't even see this letter. This is actually terrifying because not only is this person trying to take your identity, but now they are also actually walking on your personal personal property. In our number one spot, phishing. This one is an old favorite for identity thieves. This is where a person will obtain personal information such as usernames, passwords, and credit card information. They gain all this information by convincing you to install malicious software on your computer. They will contact you via email, phone call, or convince you to download something off of a website. The reason this is one of the old favorites is because it usually takes the least amount of effort for them. Basically the criminal just needs to sit back and trick someone into clicking a malicious link on a seemingly legit email, then trying to break through the computer's defenses. So basically, the criminal has you doing all of their work. Which is really messed up when you think about it. Well there you have it, that's our list of the top 5 shocking ways someone can steal your identity. Thank you guys so much for watching, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys!